breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Will the Southeast ever produce the president? Will the Southeast ever produce the president? So, my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. There has been a lot of reaction as to where the next president should come from. With the Southwest claiming it is theirs, for the taking and the Northern House also claiming they are born to rule. Thus, it would not be a bad idea for them to saddle the ship of the nation for another further four years or maybe even eight years. All this plan has not even put the Southeast into consideration. Being the only part of this country that has not been able to graze the elevated seat of power since 1999. And it begs the question is the Southeast really part of Nigeria? Because they have been relegated to the background? Or is it they are not yet ripe for the presidency? The highest, the, the highest, the Southeast has climbed in the hierarchy of power list the Senate president since 1999. With 2023 staring at our faces, the two big political parties have not in any way shown that they are ready to risk fielding a Southeast presidential candidate, and the top Eastern politician seems disinterested in the office. They have not put in action like their counterparts in other regions who are not shying away from the fact that they want the position and are ready to get it. But the PDP and FSL have both suitably, suitably, have both suitably candidates with Chris in Gigi and Rochas Okorochal in the ruling party and David Umayi. Peter Lobi and the host of others in the PDP. Both parties cannot cast a blind eye on the Southeast and must give hope to the Eastern half that they are also part of this marriage called Nigeria. Politics is a game of numbers, with the North having the largest chunk of the vote followed by the Southwest and the Southeast only boasting of a mega number of votes. This would be one of the key reasons why the Easterners are not even considered by political parties because they know politics in Nigeria is played with great sentiment of ethnic and religion. It is a known fact that the only reason the former president Goodluck Jonathan from the South-South region won the election was because of his collaborative effort with strong Northern member of the then ruling party and when they left him, even with his incumbency power, could not secure the vote to be re-elected. Re Showing that coming from a strong ethnic group really matters. Also, the clamoring for Biafra by some parts of Eastern Nigeria has done more harm than good to their reputation, with most people not ready to risk, to risk their vote for somebody who they don't know where his true allegiance lies. The East must go to the drawing board and plan how to come strong to the league of the big boys and stop complaining and whining about being marginalized but must work hard to present a candidate that will rise above religious and tribal sentiment.
there has been a lot of reactions as to where the next president should come from with the southwest claiming it is theirs for the taken and the northerners also claim that they are born to rule does it would not be a bad idea for them to saddle the ship of the nation for another four years or maybe even eight years all this plan has not even put the southeast into consideration being the only part of this country that has not been able to graze the elevated seats of power since 1999 and it begs the question is the southeast really part of nigeria because they have been relegated to the background or is it they are not yet ripe for the presidency the highest the southeast has climbed in the hierarchy of power is the senate president since 1999 with 2023 staring at our faces the two big political parties have not in any way shown that they are ready to risk out to risk fielding a southeast presidential candidate and a top eastern politician seems disinter disinterested in the office they have not put in action like their counterparts in other regions who are not shying away from the fact that they want the position and are ready to get it. Both the PDP and AP still have both suitably candidate with Chris Ingegel and Rocha Zokorocha. In the ruling party like David Dumai, Peter Lobi and the host of others in the PDP. Both parties cannot cast a bland eye on the southeast and must give hope to the easterner. That they are also part of this marriage called Nigeria. Politics is a game of members, numbers, with the North have the largest chunk of the vote, followed by the Southwest. And the Southeast only boasting of a meager number of votes. This would be one of the key reasons why the Easterners are not even considered by political parties because. They know politics in Nigeria is played with great sentiment of ethnic and religion. It is a known fact that the only reason the former president Gulag Jonathan from the South 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 region won the election was because of his collaborative effort with strong Northern Party Northern, Northern member of the Gen ruling party. And when they left him, even with this incumbency power, could not secure the votes to be re-elected. Now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do.